Deranged Michael Webb snatched the child from her mother's arms in broad daylight and drove to a nearby motel. Drive by, drive by donation of your child is crazy. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual that is You too, what it do, man? It is your boy, Abdul up next, and I am back with another video today, man. Yes, Sirski. Hope everybody's having a good day, bro. Like the video before we even get started. We're watching the video called When the Kidnapper Doesn't Realize He's Being Recorded. I don't know what type of title that is. It's like, does the same thing go on with the cameras on or off? I don't know. I'm looking at this the same way I'll look at a mom exposed or a just the main reason because like what are they actually doing in the first place bro think about how down bad you have to be to even be kidnapping in the first place you don't just wake up and be a kidnapper like bro you have to be rejected you have to be scaring the shorties away you have to be lonely to even become a kidnapper your phone has to be dry 24 7 the only person that texts you is team snapchat and your mother to even become one of these people so we're gonna watch this and see what happens follow the twitch you guys know the twitch man almost at 20k and let's go <laughs> that's an insane intro excuse me what did i just look at Dad, what is he trying to do this is the what the frick? Long foot hat. Bro got on him. Go, bro got paying one feet. God, this is creepy. On March 2nd, 2024, in Akron, Ohio, the brother of a neighboring Whoa. resident had abducted a young girl from her home and taken her to a nearby house. No. How do you abduct somebody into a home? Did you sneak in, bro? You crawled through a window? Oh, no. What the no. Dad! Shut up and get off me. ain't even worth a replay it's that weird what are you planning to do if somebody opens up that door what are you what are you what is your plans bro dad what are you doing help me Talking about help me? You walked up to somebody's door with a child in your hand and said, Help me. Help with what? A child coming at my door saying, Help me. Already crazy. There ain't no way I'm helping already. Second of all, I think your friend just cut W friend, first of all, for actually not condoning this. Like, ew, bruh. What the f is that? What the f are you doing? It's a little girl. No. Why is a little girl not screaming out loud? You, She should be screaming, bro. Catch somebody's attention. Man, get the Look at him over there. No way you're gonna let that dude walk up, bro. That man needs to be jumped, punished, torn apart, bro. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Who's your name? Who's your name? Who's your name? Now you do something like that, bro. I think even if it's not your child, if nothing to do with it, you run across that guy. He automatically gonna be speaking to Tupac. No cap. We know that guy had to catch the penalty. If he's not on the penalty getting executed, that's crazy. If bro, if if things went as planned, he should be looking up at us right now. Check my dick. Go in the house. Go in the house. Go in the house. I don't know what the. F what the fuck? Go in the house. But I need to go back here. Okay, guess go in the house. I'm 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 fine. You fine here? I'm not going. No, go. Dude, when officers arrive, they find the suspect being held at gunpoint on the porch by the resident. Oh yeah, he's he lucky, no bro. Gun, no, he uh, don't the gun. Cool, go, go back inside. Let me chill. Let me figure out what's going on. Bro, you lucky they didn't pop off. Seventeen. Anybody in route could slow down. Nobody has a gun right now. I have the mail right here on the porch. I apologize for that. High stand point. up. Stand up. Listen. Seven here, I copy. Bro, Listen. what was he trying to do? You know That's him? my neighbor. That's your neighbor? That's my neighbor's brother. Okay. He did yard work for me and everything. Uh-huh. For some reason, he came to me with a little girl tonight. Help me, man. Where the little girl at? In the Where house. Y'all don't know her? Caleb. No. 
All right. See, bitch, help me. Dude. All right. Go ahead. Just, just give me, give me a minute. Go ahead. Give yeah. me a minute. Give me a minute. Yeah, yeah. Chill out, bro. Chill out. Quit tensing up. All right, dude. Why he looking like that? Over here, bro. Bro, really walked in with a with a child. No, just like this. Talking about help me. Chill why out. Are you to, why are you trying? Why to... you keep tensing up? Right. Chill out. Help me, sir. Bros in his boxers. Yo, this man's worse than Diddy. Bros in his boxers. Bro was really trying to have a freakathon. This guy is sick. This might be worse than anything R. Kelly ever did. Oh, chill. Ow. Hey, chill. Chill out. Stop. 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 Get the rat. Get the rat. 24. All right. They slammed this man to the ground while he's in his boxers. Now that's how you get back. That's how you get back. These are the type of people where police. Be. I, I look the other way. They said police beware. I don't see none of that. All right. The suspect was charged with abduction, obstruction of official business, and resisting arrest. Thankfully, this child was able to escape. Inflicted asphyxiation. On May 19, 2019, in Fort Worth, Texas, a woman takes her eight-year-old daughter for a walk down the street when a man pulls up in a car and snatches the girl from her mother's arms. Deranged kidnapper Michael Webb snatched the child from her mother's arms in broad daylight and drove to a nearby motel. Drive-by, drive-by donation of your child is crazy. To the motel? What the fuck? Bro, oh, this is weird. This is worse. This is the worst, bro. To make matters worse, it took the police eight excruciating hours to track them down. So when they arrive, they don't waste any time. Door! Open it now! Break it. Open it! Door! Hands. Let me see your hands. Just step out here. All types of Diddy oil on the floor, bro. Step out. Step out. I know the Diddy oil on the floor, bro. Get on the ground. 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 Get on the Yes. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Bring it out. 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 We have her. Four. Okay. Oh, we need an EMT. Get, get Cole Midstar. Yes. Yes. No, no, no. Don't worry about your clothes. Don't worry about your clothes. We got a towel? Yeah. What do you even want to talk about with an eight-year-old? I'm sorry. Every eight-year-old I hear talk, I want them to shut up. He talking about dumb shit. V-Bucks and, and Robux, like, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to play Nintendo Switch with a kid? What are you trying to do? Like, what is what is the goal, bro? That's disgusting. Third grade, guy has baby tooth in his mouth, bro. The favorite thing to do is, is jump out of Bouncy Park. Dude oh. has to burn. Whoever. He has to burn. Can we cover her up? Can we cover her up? He has with to something? burn. Here, just Here you go, baby. Can we get her out? Come here, come here. Let's go. Come on, sweetheart. W Popo, chat. You're hey, okay? man, for the first time, bro, W Police, you know, I'm black, so I'm just supposed to hate police by nature. I had to ask my mom that one day. I'm like, why does every black person hate police? That's when I realized, like, what stereotypes really were. The black people see police, they get defensive. Some people. Niggas see police, police can say license registration, and they'll be like, no, no, why I got to? Man, I ain't violate no rights, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Nah, that got dude her. gotta Hold get hit door. with a nuclear, bro, I'm not gonna lie. They gotta give him the Hiroshima. They gotta fly hey, him into the Twin Towers, right? Back off. Please, just back off. Hey. Hayes, let's go. Let's get her in here. 
so she can sit down. After detaining Webb and finding the girl hiding in a laundry basket under a pile of clothes, the parents are informed of her rescue. Guys, listen, just, just stay there for me, okay? Hey, do me a favor. Can you, this is the father. This is the father. Okay, okay. Do you think these type of people get away with this often, bro? How do you even get bold enough to like, I'm just saying, you had to try that before. You have had to try that before. Just hold on, okay? Uh, what's this place called? What's this it's, place? It's the, the Woodward Suites. Woodward Suites? Are it's, it's in Forest Hill. 51-year-old Webb is taken into custody. He's found to be a career criminal with a history of violent This guy? Egghead? Megamind? Bro's head is humongous. And bro's ears are huge. Looks like Geo dude off in Pokemon. Criminal with a history of violent <laughs> during a taped interrogation. A pathetic. Ew, bro. Why are you sitting like this? They couldn't have gave this man some pants that fit. Bro got half his. A <laughs> pervert makes a shocking confession. What did you say to scare me, Michael? <laughs> I told him if he said anything, then I would do something to my parents. And if I was in jail, I would have my friends to do it. It took a you said that to an eight-year-old jury just 10 minutes to find Webb guilty of federal kidnapping charges and he received the maximum sentence life behind bars Nah, life ain't good enough, bro. We need the penalty, bro. You have to choose your excursion You're going to go meet God, bro. That's a Ted Bundy, bro. That's what Ted Bundy did That is the result you get with good old-fashioned police work but what happens when like, cops? Bro, you mean to tell me his meat was literally out when y'all caught him? Look, what you get with good. Bro, it's blurred because his meat was hanging. Old-fashioned police work. But what happens when cops encounter a pervert who thought he could pick up a 13-year-old he met online? Sheriff, sure, back up. If I ask you that question again, I'm gonna lose my mind. How old are you? I'm 22. Oh, you fucked up. Yeah, you up real good. On February 19, 2021, a 13-year-old girl in Volusia County, Florida went missing while on her way home from school. But when police talked to one of her friends, they- What? You a decade older? Being someone that much younger than you. Like, what you check her report card for her, bro? Do you check her report card, bro? Do you check her infinite campus, bro? In a disturbing story. The girl had recently met an adult man online and had plans of meeting him at a Dollar General. The friend only knew that his name started with a T and that they were going back to a local motel. I'm looking at today from school gets out around 315 is so I'm thinking 3 to 330. I mean, is that like a super, super recent picture though? She says she looks pretty much like this. It, might, it looks pretty close to her. Hello. Um, hey, so my name is uh, Deputy James. I'm wondering if um, a juvenile and an, uh, another person checked in here earlier today. I haven't Have you seen that? A juvenile? Uh, I'm looking for... Mm -hmm. Girls want. Girls think that shit is so cute. The street shit is so cute. A person going in and out of jail is so cute. Till you see what them charges really is, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying though, bro. Until you see what them charges really is. I'm investigating a, um, a runaway juvenile. Okay. Now they on your ass, but they knocking at these doors like Jehovah Witness. They on your ass. You know the police on your ass turn into Jehovah Witness. Checked in today. Oh, where's this guy? I think this is him. The deputy has shown the driver's license of a man who recently checked in with a name matching the one the missing girl's friend gave. To avoid alarming the suspect, the deputy decides to approach the room posing as motel staff rather than police. No. Front office. Anybody inside? We need to come in for a second. You knocked on the door and said that? They don't even say stuff like that at hotels. Trust me, I'm gonna know. If you don't kick that door down and put a cap through that man's cap, police need to be a little bit more aggressive, bro. You sound like a sure. He's a decade old. Bro's trying to watch Nick Nickelodeon. Bro's trying to watch iCarly with the show. Right, I'm on the way. The terrified 13-year-old girl runs into the deputy's arms, who would then let the 22-year-old suspect know just how screwed he really is. Tyler Thompson was charged with 30 counts of child crimes. 30 counts. He was found guilty and sentenced to 40 years in prison. Oh yeah, 40 years? Yeah, get that. 40 years. You went from liking little kids. I hope you can like men, bro. This case was terrifying. 
But what happens when a would-be kidnapper fails to achieve his goal? On April 29, 2022, in Akron, Ohio, a man tried and failed to abduct a 16-year-old girl at a bus stop. The 16-year-old girl is stronger than you. This is the worst clip I ever heard. Bro couldn't even do what he attempted to do. Before fleeing in a white Mustang. What do you do if you're the person across the street? You gotta do something, bro. Bro, give up! Police soon spot the vehicle at a nearby gas station and confront the suspects. You put your ID out, my man. Hey, ID, sir? Well, someone's gonna come talk to you. It's... Oh. I'm going to jail? No. Yes! Yes! Oh, you'd, be out, you'd be out of the car in handcuffs right now if you were, my man. Oh. Just relax, my man. It'll all be... Uh, we, we gotta talk to your passenger. All right, it doesn't even involve you. So relax. What's up? He's the detective and he's the sergeant, so right. he'll be able to answer any okay. questions you got, okay? I'll get my keys out my phone. Your car's fine, bro. Ain't no one gonna fuck with your shit. That's the that Is that NBA Youngboy, bro? Yeah. This man just has a random hoodie of NBA Youngboy on. Take that shit off, you. This is just, this is just terrible, bro. And they talk about my outfits. This guy just has a hoodie of NBA Youngboy on. Do y'all not see anything wrong with that? That's dick right. What's she identify as? Her? I just want him to get arrested even more just when I see this damn hoodie, bro. Okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to be rude or insensitive. I just didn't know which way to go with it. And there's no easy way to talk about it. Detectives speak to the vehicle's passenger, who claims complete ignorance. Yeah, he's going to jail just to drop the soap. Bro's dropping the soap on purpose. This is on maximum levels of ratchet. This is the type of stuff where, like, bro, the hard art. You know what I'm saying? Bro looks like a orangutan with a wig on. Listen, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you a heads up that the best way to handle things at our age is to be honest. I mean, we're not 15-year-old kids where we try and lie our way out of it. But everything that can be recorded, and in this world, man, there's cameras everywhere. So I ain't trying to you. I'm just telling you, I'm sure you've been to court and you see how things go in court. If you're honest and cool and tell people you or whatever, it, it goes a lot easier. You know what I mean? Especially nowadays with the, the judges the way they are. That's a full time part. Wait, is that your girl? Oh my god, that's his girlfriend. You was you was you was having a you was having a tough time in life, bro. He was going through a lot, chat. 29-year-old suspect at Aaron Jackson has a lengthy criminal history and had been released from jail just five days before this incident. He was charged with abduction and given a five-year sentence. So you got out of jail and five days later, you tried to abduct a kid? That potential victim bravely fought back and saved herself from a truly terrible fate. Yo, bro, that video is actually crazy. In the comments, tell me what you think these people deserve, bro. Shout out to these four people right here. If you didn't know, I give a shout out to four people at the end of every video. Just like these four people, you can get a shout out to. All you got to do is like this video and let me know that you liked in the comment section, man. And follow my Twitch. If you're doing both of those things, you can get a shout out. No cap, man. Da-da-da-da. Goodbye, man.